In this video, I am going to share three ways to collect client data as well as organize gathered documents using free online tools. First option is to send an email to inform the client what data and documents we need from them. For example, we can use Gmail to send a message. Be specific on what data needed and provide easy to understand descriptions of the documents required from them. If there is a need for a particular type of file and size, then that must also be indicated in the email. Remember that Gmail allows clients to send up to 25 megabytes in attachments. Be able to include when to expect a reply. To avoid creating a new thread of email, it is advisable to inform the client to reply on the same email. With this, it will be easier to locate their messages. That will also remove the chance of their email going to the spam folder. While waiting for the response, create a checklist of what we are asking from the clients. For example, use Google Sheets to create a table. Enter the needed items in the table header. Use the checkbox feature that will serve as an indicator whether it has been received or not. Once a reply has been received, download those documents and save them in the computer's drive. Create the folder that will serve as a container of files for each client. Go back to the checklist file, then tick the box for the document received. This will update the file, and in this way, we will be able to monitor who among the clients haven't completed the requirements yet. In case there are missing or incorrect attachments, then we can reply to the email to ask for the file. The second option, like the first one, also uses email and checklists. However, the files are not downloaded. Instead, they are stored in a folder on a cloud-based storage service. For this demo, let's use Google Drive as the cloud-based storage service. Create a folder for every client. Here's the folder of one of the clients. Right-click, then choose Share. Enter email address of the client. Then choose Editor from the options. Copy the link. Go to the email. Paste the folder link. This is where the client should upload the files. Indicate on the email that the client should reply once they have uploaded the files to the folder in Google Drive. After checking the files, let's say there are still incorrect documents, then reply to the email to request for replacements. Update the checklist to monitor what files have been received. For the third option, use web-based survey forms to collect data and documents from clients. An example of web-based survey form is Google Forms. For the first question, the client will enter the name. For the other questions, they need to upload files. Let's select File Upload for the question type. Clients who are going to fill out this form will be required to sign in to their Google account. Click Continue. Let's specify file types. For the 2x2 ID picture, let's choose Image. One for maximum number of files, and the file size is 10 megabytes. Let's make it a required question. Add another question. For Passport ID, we'll allow documents, PDF, and image and make it a required question too. For the next question, we'll ask for another valid government-issued ID. Allowed file types are document, PDF, and image. Let's choose five for the maximum number of files so the client can upload both the front and back sides if needed. It's a required question too. Go to the Responses tab. Ensure that the form is accepting responses. Go to the More Options. Select Get Email Notifications for New Responses. This will allow Google Forms to send us a message every time there is a response. Go to Settings. Enable the following options. Collect email addresses. Always send respondents a copy of their response. And allow response editing so clients can change what they have previously submitted in case there's a correction. Since we have added uploaded questions, then the form will auto-save. In case the client cannot finish the form in one sitting, they can still go back where they have left off in the form. Google Forms automatically saves the progress for 30 days so they can work across devices or take a break without losing a step. Go to the Send button. 
click the link tab, shorten the URL, and copy the link. Compose an email, paste the link, inform the client to fill out the form, and to reply to the email once they have completed it. For example, this is the screen of the client. He will supply data and will upload the files. Once done, click the Submit button. The confirmation page shows that he can still edit his response. Let's go back to our screen. Google Forms can compile all the responses and put them in a spreadsheet. We can have that by going to the Responses and clicking the Create Responses in Google Sheets icon. We can use this spreadsheet file as the checklist. In this generated checklist, we can add another column to indicate whether all the submitted data and files are correct. Checkbox is also a good feature to become the value in this column. The files submitted by the client are stored in a folder in the Google Drive of the Google Forms owner. It is automatically generated when clients submit their documents. Just in case there are incorrect files, then we can reply to the email requesting for a new copy. I hope this video helps you in collecting data and documents from clients. Please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you!